Drones are everywhere. They're used in television, movies, toys, military, construction, sports, manufacturing, and more. And the newest technology is even more advanced than you know. Hey everyone, thank you for watching D News Today. I'm Trace. The official name for the remote controlled drones we know and love slash hate is UAVs, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, though the military calls them Unmanned Aerial Systems, or UASs. The word drone implies something which operates on its own, though most military drones or UAVs are simply remote controlled. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to keep calling them drones anyway. The first weaponized drone was flown in 1994, the Predator MQ-1. But advances in the last 20 years have been incredible. Take for example, the largest drone around today, a 757 sized UAV called Triton, operated by the US Navy. Its 130 foot wingspan and fuel efficiency allow it to fly 2,000 nautical miles in a single mission, identify ships, de-ice its own wings, and navigate turbulence all without human interaction. The thing can even be struck by lightning and still work. Most flying drones operate for 20 hours and are pre-programmed to fly to a specific area and look around, or are piloted for a mission by a person in a ground station. The military controls these giant aircraft from hundreds of miles away via satellite communications, GPS, and the aircraft's onboard computers. This combination of ground and space-based systems can affect how long information takes to get from the pilot or to the pilot. Those predators in the 90s took as long as five minutes to break down detailed information, making the UAV's automated systems extra important. But today, the newest drones can provide a 360 degree video view, infrared and radar data all live. Most UASs include line of sight control for takeoff and landing and satellite control during long flights and missions which would go out of range of a tower or an antenna. Obviously, direct control is faster. Satellites have a one second delay. But if somehow the signal is lost from the human pilot, the drone can be programmed to fly in circles or return to its takeoff point. It can even land on its own if it has to. Drones aren't only airborne. The drone boat is a true autonomous and artificially intelligent helper boat. These drone boats are programmed to swarm targets, all without human instruction. They can network with each other, and although they are unarmed, are supposed to isolate a craft or intercept enemy fire, all without putting people in harm's way. Another naval drone uses biomimicry technology to look like a shark or a fish. These drones can operate in 10 inches of water or dive down 300 feet, either by tethering to a ship or doing it autonomously, only surfacing to communicate further instructions. They are unarmed, but key for intelligence gathering. The future of drones is getting pretty crazy. Virtual reality is coming where pilots will be able to look through cameras and pilot aircraft or boats like it's a video game and they can look around inside of the drone. It's already come to commercial drones used for like Star Wars style pod racing games, but the US Air Force is pulling out all the stops with their secret space shuttle. The X-37B launched in 2012 and orbited the Earth for 500 days autonomously, returning and landing on its own in 2014. No one knows what this thing is for, but it's technically a drone, and people allegedly spotted Northrop Grumman's flying wings over Texas, a type of aircraft rumored for a long while, even tested by NASA, but still classified, if it exists at all. Drones have advanced so much in the last 20 years, so what will another 20 do? Are we going to have them delivering pizzas, filming football games, going to asteroids, flying us around the globe? Who knows? But one thing is for sure, they are here to stay. There is something that could dampen drones in our time, of course, if the people put their foot down and stop their use in the military. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. For more, check out Test Tube for the pros and cons of drones in war right down here. That being said, drones are machines. They're not just for attacking. They're not good or evil on their own. In fact, plenty of drones are used for good. Seeker has a whole episode about how drones are making the world a better place over there. Thanks for watching D News, everyone. Please come back and subscribe for more videos.